This thing still has juice. Oh, that light's bright though. I'll have to be careful with that. I'll be damned. Thought I heard something. I'm not sure though. Hope that big bastard didn't see me on my way in here. That could put the kibosh on this whole plan. I'll play it out. I'm probably just extra paranoid. I wonder if there's a tripod around here. I know I'm gonna check first though. Be right back. what they were filming or what they're using this camera for <laughs> anyway there's a stairwell a room in a stairwell here I think that might be better for filming this I'll pick it up there yeah this room's much better it's one of those stairwell slash laundry rooms it has no windows and no direct path to the outside what that means, it'll allow me to make a little bit of noise without being heard. And it'll allow me, watch this, a little bit of light. It's the strangest thing, but there's still power in some of these places in this town. I'll uh, allow myself a little bit of light to film these, these journals. But uh, I guess I should get, uh, get started with this. So... Ready here. I'm Walker. I'm a survivor of the apo zombie apocalypse so far. I don't know how it started. Um, the way I remember the chain of events, there was the government warning everybody of a uh, strong flu virus going around, a lot like H1N1 the other the last year, two years ago. It's hard to remember time now. Anyway, same sort of situation. In inoculations were offered, suggested, but soon those inoculations, those suggestions turned into demands. That's hard to freak people out. Then the army moved in, and the demands turned into force. That just caused chaos. There's shooting, there's screaming, there's fighting, there's killing. And of course there were zombies. This flu virus was something a bit beyond a flu virus. People were dying in hospitals. Coming back from the dead. Loved ones taking out other loved ones. I mean, you've seen movies, you've seen how it works out. Um, I managed to survive as long as I did by laying low. I didn't move, I just kept quiet. Ate whatever food I had in my, my home. Um, I was alone single so I didn't have to worry about uh, keeping too many other people alive just myself um, eventually the f shooting stopped and then there's only the moaning the zombie dinner bell that uh, was a lot worse and uh, that sound is still driving me nuts it's not so bad here because it's less populated than where I was. Anyway, I'm getting a little off track here. I'm uh, recording some journals on paper and digital digitally to 
write down my observations and what techniques and tricks I've used to survive this far. Um, then I plan on leaving it behind, leaving the, the, the journals behind in some form or another so that the next survivor might find it and might find something useful. Might be able to glean something he hadn't thought of or something she could definitely use to thrive. Um, I've done pretty good for myself. I started off in a heavily populated big city and uh, once the army either moved on to plan B or died to the, the zombie horde, I waited it out as long as my food would allow and then I left. Uh, I headed north. I figured the further north I get, as soon as the cold weather starts, the zombies will freeze and become less of a problem, at least for the winter months. And the northern cities are a lot less populated. They're a bit fewer and farther between. And, um, game is still rich in the forests and stuff, so that's my plan. Yeah. Can't believe this is happening. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know how it started. And I'm not going to start repeating myself. I can give you a lot of theories that other people had before it all started. Or as it started, I guess I should say is a bit more accurate. Anyway. Um, I guess we can start with uh, my living arrangements. Um, I found this town. It was a bit bigger than I wanted, but uh, there's power and light and electricity is a little was a little bit too attractive for me to pass up right away. And, uh, so, I roamed around the city, scavenged what I could, and then I found this area, and um, I found this house, and it had one of those tucked away back apartments, you know, you walk the granny suite in the back. Nice and tucked away, the, that's down a little cement stairwell, easily blocked off, which is what I'm about to get to in a minute. Um, only a few windows, I don't think I'll need to do a lot of barricading. Um, the biggest key is to be quiet, and if they don't know you're there, then, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But uh, I'm going to get to that right now. As you can hear, I think it was spotted. So, a little riddle for you guys. What's uh, 300 pounds and moaning and pounding? My new undead neighbor! Alright, fatty. Enough of that noise. I'm making a home here. <laughs> 